one of the things you can always count on. <laughs> Hello, this is not a spring chicken. One of the things you can always count on when you are selecting the vice presidential, oh, presumptive vice presidential candidate is, oh, they're going to be going after you and your family scrutinizing them from head to toe. Hmm. Of course, that's just politics as normal. And for tonight, the closing ceremonies for the Olympic Games. For now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Boy, yeah, they Isn't said, that old news? No, it's, it's, the, it's, the news, it's the news yesterday. Bob Beckel and all these other laughing horses' asses. Well, the picking of Ryan handed the presidency the presidency because he is so hated by people. Oh, well, no. The problem was, was that uh, uh, Romney is so disliked by the people in his own party, he was forced into either Ryan or Christie. He probably wanted uh, Rubio, who was young, uh, way too young, and he'd never uh, want, uh, you know, Rubio wasn't going to get to the presidency. Ryan basically, uh, they said, Ryan is a problem at the convention because he is the one the people on the right and the Tea Party wanted to run to begin with, but he didn't want to run because it was going to cause a problem with his family. But since they've now got it through their thick skulls, that there, there never has been any undecided in this race. They decided for Romney a long time ago, so his lead was coming from the undecided. The, um, oh. yeah, so therefore, they needed somebody to get the base out because it is a base election. Well, do you think they could overturn it at the convention? They, they basically, uh, that Romney picked Ryan to make certain that that didn't happen. Because um, the, the, the Ryan is basically a pit bull. He's going to go out there, unlike Sarah Palin. So he's not. Sarah Palin had to be a lady. Ryan does not have to be a gentleman when it comes to what. Okay, if they're going to threaten him and his family, he is not going to put up with it. He said, this one, you know, um, that uh, he is a he is a, a god awful, really uh, hard nosed Irishman. Mm -hmm. And they don't get pushed around. When you go after the kids, he's going to go after Obama and his kids, and Obama's not. Obama's going to attack back, then he's going to attack. And they said the mud just started to be slung yesterday even more than what they thought was possible. Because I think, like Ryan said, um, I'm not going to roll over for the man in the White House. If he goes after my kids, I go after his kids. So you are on notice, Mr. President. In other words. <laughs> yeah. And Obama may lift restraints on ethanol to appease the left. Well, yeah, because the left want to get rid of gasoline and use all the food stuff in the world to make petroleum, to power vehicles. But since the only people, okay, here's the thing is, at, when the Sierra Club goes after anyone, the only one that goes into the area the Sierra Club mm -hmm. goes after is the Sierra Club and their, H, you know, their SUVs and their snowmobiles and their ATVs. Mm -hmm. So if the, if, the, if the left manages to get, uh, make gas so high that no one can use it, it you, okay, this is a, a question. BS wants that. BS says it has a, oh, he said you got a real question. Who are the majority of the millionaires and billionaires in the United States? Who? Are they Republicans? They're Democrats. Who owns most of the large businesses in this country? Are they Republicans? They are Democrats. Who has most of the stock of the petroleum companies that are billionaires and millionaires? Are you mean Democrats? So guess who is going to have everything if they take it all from people? Republicans represent the middle, the, the small business uh, people, and they actually represent the union workers, whether the union workers know it or not. And the Olympics proves, once again, it's not a place for political demonstrations. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're basically tossing people out right and left. They don't care what you do when you go home. But in the Olympic Village, you are supposed to behave. You do not, con like, you know, we had, a, we, had a, we had a Latino decided to condemn the United States by running with a Mexican flag around the ring. He, he's missing the night ceremonies. Because uh, he could, you know, because the, it didn't, it didn't ingratiate himself with Mexico either. Because if he was so hot about Mexico, he could have ran for that country, not the United States. But he did it because he wanted, he knew he was fast, he was going to get a medal, and he wanted to condemn the United States when he had the opportunity. It's just like the, the guy that was in the military. Remember a few years ago, the military officer that sat there and give the black power thing, and they were in the military and they did it. 
Mm -hmm. they, they didn't stay in the military long after that. Yeah, Com commuter jets avoid last second collision near Washington, D.C. But don't worry, it's because that we are not, we're, we're not paying the air traffic controllers enough and we don't have enough of them on the job, even though there's not enough room in the towers for uh, to add more personnel. They got as many personnel hired as the system will take. Here's the response from the Democrats and the unions. Well then build bigger and larger t uh, towers. <laughs> uh, eventually that's the plan at every airport, but that takes money and there is no money. And Spain arrests Al-Qaeda suspects planning European attacks. Yeah, because it, it, they, they, it, they, okay, Osama bin Laden was one person in a bunch of whole, a bunch of fanatics. If you cut, okay, here's like if you cut off one head of Hydra, there's more heads of the Hydra to take the place. So, getting rid of bin Laden, who I, I will never know whether they actually got rid of him or not, because when you dump a body into the ocean, you know, it's basically done to make certain that nobody can doubt anything you said. Mm, yeah, and RFK Jr. said, wife, wife called him day before suicide. Yeah, because uh, and basically his wife had a few loose screws and if she was under medical care and um, and basically her family is condemning the Kennedy family for not doing enough. Well, unfortunately, when you send them to the facilities and they leave the facilities, you can't do anything more. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Oh, Alaska Airlines passengers confident shaken by message on wing. Oh yeah. Well, what? Yeah. Well, uh, well, about no, about, you know, this plane is dangerous. I mean, I have seen plane. I mean, I mean, I'll guarantee you that I'm what, we're, we're on a flight coming back from Minnesota. I'm looking at things not. I mean, I, I know that the pieces are not supposed to be flapping, and they were flapping, folks. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the wind. <laughs> flapping in the wind. Yeah. And FBI Temple shooter killed himself with headshot. Yeah, they always kill themselves with a headshot. I'll lay you odds there was a headshot to the back of the head. Because my father, when he was a police officer, said it was always amazing how many suspects that killed themselves with guns were always shot in the back of the head. Ooh, how lovely. It's just like the guy, the shooter, that shot himself through the back of his seat to shoot himself in the back of the head. That meant somebody in the back of the seat. Mm -hmm. Somebody got in behind him used the seat as a muffling thing and killed the guy. They're, that, they see, they're, shooters almost, all, big killers almost always tend to get killed mm -hmm. somehow. Yeah, somehow. U.S. Navy rescues 10 from Iranian ship on fire. Yeah, and Iranians got mad about it because they said that they, they were spies that came on board their ship. Oh, did they? You can't do anything good with the Iranians. Mm. Obama and Romney agree that gay Boy Scouts are okay. And basically, Both of them do? That was another reason why Romney pissed off the people in the party. The Republican Party has, you know, uh, uh, you know, the thing about gay rights, there is, they don't, they think, oh, here's what it was. Uh, years ago, I, I, met, I knew Jesse Helms. Jesse Helms was basically a real right-wing loony, but he flat out said, he said, if it is an illness, I will support their, I will support them with my last breath, but I will not support a lifestyle choice. Mm -hmm. And I, he actually meant it, you know, if, if you were born and there was nothing you could do about it, then you had to protect them. But you don't protect somebody that makes a lifestyle choice. And JetBlue Pilot has psychotic episode in prison. This is the guy, they put a guy in prison that went nuts on an airplane. You don't put a person in a jail cell that's insane. I mean, that's sort of ridiculous, folks. They knew the guy was a fruitcake. Well, and they, he's they convicted him and else. tossed him behind bars real quick. Mm -hmm. Generally, you don't get jail, you don't go, you don't get trials you go for years. Farm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and they usually don't get trials for years. Wealthy GOP donor Adelson fires, files a libel suit in New York. Yeah, uh, basically because they're charging. Okay, but there's going to be lots of libel suits filed against lots of Democrats. The Democrats have no stand, no leg to stand on. Because the, most of what they're saying, like I love this yesterday, the uh, AP writer says that it's there's no okay. The, while the stimulus didn't work as planned, there's no proof that it didn't work. And while. <laughs>